this Briggs and Stratton hit a rock and that won't run. Most common reason it's not gonna run is because there's a shear pin on the flywheel that has broken. We'll pull the flywheel and verify that can remove the screws on the top, remove the cover plate, remove the bolts that hold the tank up, remove the fuel tank, remove the four bolts to the main housing, pull the top off. Here's the flywheel that we'll need to remove. Find a socket to fit the nut. The spark plug is disconnected. You have to stop the spinning. Sometimes I grab the blade. You might be tempted to put a screwdriver in on these fins, but the fins break off, so I just grab the blade. Once the bolt's loose, spin it off, remove the nut. With all this removed, we can clearly see that the shear pin is completely sheared off. This is where it's supposed to be, and right here is where it's sheared off and spun. The timing is now off, and until this is fixed, it's not gonna start again. The only way that I've been able to get these off is with a two jaw puller, and there's typically one location that you can put it in. Tighten it up until it pops off. It'll pop off abruptly, and there's quite a bit of tension. It always makes me a bit nervous. Give it a little more. You can see why it takes a gear puller. I just pulled it off a little bit and straightened it up a little bit. Definitely high tension. It keeps curving to one side, so I'll no, spin it not around. Not curving over one side is bad. I always think it should give earlier than it does. A little more pull. It's under high tension. I'll give it a tap. Try some PB blaster. Give it another torque. Crank it again. If you don't have plenty of grease on your threads, you're gonna damage the threads on a puller. Pull a little bit more. There, it didn't come off, it cracked a fin off. Cracked a fin off this side. It popped off and then what I did is I took the wrench and I just pulled back in the opposite direction that everything was flexing. Most of them pop off easier than this. We're off now. Right here's that sheared pin. We'll need to buy or make another aluminum shear pin. I don't have a shear pin, so I'll just make it out of this block of aluminum. Cut a piece off with a hacksaw. Make sure it fits nice and tight. File it until it fits perfect. Here it fits in there real nice. We'll line the flywheel up to this tab right Take here. Take the flywheel off. You're gonna have to retract the brake a little bit. There's a burr inside the flywheel. Now the burr's gone. Have everything down nice and even. We'll place the nut back in. Hold the blade and tighten everything. Up. Everything goes back in reverse order. When everything's back together, we'll give it a crank. Starts right up, just don't want to hit a rock again.